Ladies and gentlemen, you are cordially invited to the Summer of Pride with my friends at the North Face. Put on your boots and come out. Hi, it's me, Patagonia, a real-life homosexual. And today, I'm here with the North Face. Stop it! Stop it, please! I beg you! All right. Well, you know, June is Pride Month, in which we celebrate sodomy, basically. Sodomy! And we're so proud of sodomy, it takes all month to, just to celebrate it. That's how proud we are of sodomy. It's too much! It's too much! Uh, so today, <laughs> what are we going to do is we're going to look at all the corporate ads that take advantage of this moment to show everybody just how proud of sodomy they are. Before we begin, this video is brought to you by ExpressVPN. Visit expressvpn.com slash Show to get an extra three months free on a one-year package. Here we go. I'm just going to look at these <laughs> Look at these ads. Let's see what, what we got. Nature lets you be who you are. Even gay. Hi! Ladies and gentlemen, you are cordially invited to the Summer of Pride with my friends at the North Face. We're traveling all the gay across America. My and name is Walter Hartwell White. I live at 308 Negra Arroyo Lane, Albuquerque, New Mexico, 87104. If you're watching this tape, I'm probably dead. Okay, just kidding, you can come. Put on your boots and come out. Side with us. See you there, besties. Don't you think this is all a little intense? I mean, look at you, you're in a literal tent right now. But no, this event will not be intense. Everyone is invited. Everyone is welcome. It's going to be so fun. So I, I can't help noticing uh, that uh, instead of being gay, a lot of these people are actually uh, trans. I'm trans? You just won HR. That they're actually men dressed up as women, which is really interesting because you can't be gay if there are no if there's no gender. He's too dangerous to be left alive. Uh, right? A, a gay person is a person who's attracted to someone of the same gender. But you can't do that if your gender is completely meaningless. He's onto us. I guess what we're doing is we had gay pride and everybody came out and now we're done with that and we're just forcing everybody to go away because they can't. I have the right. I don't, I don't understand anything that these people are doing, and why? Why is it? Why is this appealing to anybody but the people who are into this stuff? I don't know. I'm into a lot of weird stuff. Maybe I'm not in the June spirit, the spirit of June uh, pride. Maybe that's my problem. When I think about queer, I kind of think that it's unique in our own special way. Not all labels fit everyone. I hope that everybody in the queer community feels empowered to be themselves. Navigate freedom. I'm proud to be free. I'm proud to be unapologetic. I am proud to be authentic. I'm proud to be uplifting. I'm proud to love who I love. I'm proud to be me. And I'm proud to be loud and proud. Ready, big heart of gold. One of the things I talked about on the show this Friday is nobody's proud of being gay. Uh, you know, it's just, it's, you know, I'm not, I'm not a, an anti-gay person. I, I'm a live and let live uh, person, so I don't really care how people live. But nobody's proud of it, and it's uh, that's a, just a big lie. And the reason they're not proud of it is just what they said in that converse ad. They keep saying, We're, "I'm going to be me. I'm going to be authentic." And this goes back to it really does go back to 18th century uh, German philosophy, in which they would kind of use a quote that goes much further back into. Greek history, which is uh, become who you are. Listen to your heart. Become who you are. That's your job, to be who you are. And the fact is, your job is not to be who you are. Your job is to be who you're supposed to be. It's not for me to make a judgment on how you be who you're supposed to be, but don't be authentic. Don't be authentic because you are authentically a lousy person. No matter who you are, you want to be more than uh, you can be and be better than you can be. And you can do that by wearing Converse sneakers that will solve all your problems. Uh, it won't solve any of your problems. I'm sorry. I'm really sorry. Yeah, that's sorry. But <laughs> that's what that ad was suggesting. And I hope they get as many gay people buying their sneakers as humanly possible. Have you noticed these big tech companies masquerading as privacy companies? Every now and again, Google, Apple, Facebook, they release a security feature in an attempt to convince you that they're not actually collecting and selling off your data, 
Not true. Free big tech platforms make their money by selling your information to advertisers. They know when you're online, what kind of content you're engaging with, and even the transactions you're making. To protect myself against big tech's prying eyes, I use ExpressVPN. ExpressVPN hides and encrypts 100% of your online activity so that big tech can't track you. One ExpressVPN subscription covers up to five devices at the same time so you can protect your entire family too. ExpressVPN is the world's number one rated VPN by CNT, Wired, Tech Radar, and countless others. I use ExpressVPN on all my devices. You just fire up the app, tap one button, and I'm protected. Get the VPN I trust to protect my online privacy when big bad tech is at the door. Visit expressvpn.com slash Andrew Clavin Show to get an extra three months free on a one-year package. That's E-X-P-R-E-S-S vpn.com slash Andrew Clavin Show, expressvpn.com slash Andrew Clavin Show. So that was a love affair, a gay love affair between two trucks. And I got I just got to ask now, what's the business model? What is the business model? All across America, guys are going, yeah, I want a gay truck. I want a truck that's going to sleep with another truck. My truck, is, I don't get one truck. I get two trucks and my trucks can sleep together. Where, where is the audience for that exactly? I mean, I don't know. Like, you know... <laughs> <laughs> that, you know, I'm an artist. I've worked with gay people all my life, wonderful people who've worked, to, you know, great, done great work professionally. Uh, I don't know one of them who's going to watch that commercial and go, yeah, what I want is a raptor to make love to my other raptor. What the hell? What is for? Why, why are these... <laughs> <laughs> you know, the only reason, the only reason a corporation shoots itself in the foot like that is for money. money, money, money. Because they think there's more money on the other side of this. So God love them, get your gay Ford truck and uh, it'll run off with another Ford truck and then you can get the uh, truck from another company. Okay, so that, I'm told, was Adidas. It was just a guy in a woman's bathing suit, um, which is really wonderful. You know, no, no, that's, that's really great. You know, it's like another, this is another one where like a lot of guys who play basketball, you know, wear Adidas. A lot of guys who are like, you know, out there playing sports are kind of going like, yeah, you know, that's, I gotta go out there and play some b-ball. I'm gonna be on the court playing some b-ball and then I wanna go home and dress up in a girl's bathing suit. <laughs> I'm missing the business model. I am missing the business model, you know? It, it, it is one thing to say, you know, we, we're here for everybody, but uh, it is a, it, this is kind of interesting because, first of all, it's not gay stuff. It's mostly transgender stuff. It's mostly people dressing up as the opposite sex, which is, a, in fact, negating of gay life, which is uh, very much about uh, the two genders. Uh, and I don't know who they're appealing to. They're counting on the rest of us not saying, ah, we'll go elsewhere. Anyway, I'm very proud uh, to have a gay truck. That's what they should do. They should put the truck. <laughs> they should put the truck in the bathing suit and then put some eyeliner on the headlights and then the whole thing will start to make sense. All right, if, if I have to see another one of these, go ahead. Hi, it's me, Patagonia, a real life homosexual. And today I'm here with the North Face. We are here to invite you to come out. 
in nature with us! Wow, this is nice! We like to call this little tour the Summer of Pride. This tour has everything. Hiking, community, art, lesbians, lesbians making art. Last year, we gay saw shade across the nation and celebrated pride across the nation with hundreds of you across the nation. This year, we're back, back, back again with two new stops. Atlanta, GA. Why? Because you're there. In Salt Lake City, we're coming for you. Howdy, can we go? Of course. This year, all these fabulous speakers will be coming from inside this TV to a nature near you. So come outside and celebrate the beautiful LGHG TV community. This is pretty gay. So this is a summer of pride. <laughs> because we're so, that's how proud we are. It's going to take us all summer to talk about how proud we are uh, before we go home and drink heavily and sob into our whiskey glass. And also, I'm glad they're going to Salt Lake City. I know the Mormons, they just can't wait for this stuff. They Mormons sit around all year, I, you know, and they read the Book of Mormon, and then they shut the Book of Mormon and say, now what we need is we got to go watch some guys dress up like girls. Uh, so welcome to Gay Pride Week uh, month. Not No, no, not month, I'm sorry. Not even, not even month. It's summer, Gay Pride summer, because we just need that much time to show how proud we are. If you want your truck to truck another truck, then <laughs> like and subscribe. And don't forget to subscribe to The Andrew Claven Show wherever you get your podcasts.